Hey, welcome back everybody. It's 936. Attorney Jessica Allman, I said that right, right? Has been around the country on her media tour. She's talking to people about three mistakes that people we've heard of, Mark Cuban, Donald Trump, Susie Orman, would never make. Now her mission is to keep people from making bad contract mistakes, and she's here to share with us what she calls her rich formula here this morning to explain exactly what that formula is. Thanks for coming Thank in. Thank you so much for having me. Now we were talking about this. Um, you've been in LA in the LA area for about 10 years now, right? I have. So this formula, you got your rich formula, is that something you developed while you lived there? or It is, yeah? yes, yes. So why was it important for you and how did you come up with this idea, I'm going to have this formula for folks, who, especially when it comes to dealing in contracts? Well, 9.2% of all revenue in American businesses is actually lost from bad contracts. So I created this formula really to help both companies and individuals make sure they're not making these mm -hmm. mistakes. And a lot of us, you know, think, well, I really don't have anything to do with contracts, but you were sharing with me some contracts a little bit earlier, and we really all do some kind of contract. And also, you're talking about people who want to maybe want to be an entrepreneur, start their own business. This is a great idea for them to start now. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So the main thing with the contracts is we all sign contracts every day, all the time. Right. And whether that's for a car lease or a gym membership, investing in a business, it's mm -hmm. important to follow this formula. Okay, so yeah. what is the formula? Because it's, it's, it's kind of easy to remember, right? Rich, yes. Yeah. So the main thing with the formula is no matter what you do, you won't be rich unless you follow this with your legal contracts. So R stands for read the contract. We know that okay. Donald Trump would never sign a contract without reading it first. The I stands for include all terms. I have people come into my office who say there's a handshake deal on the side, there's something else they've agreed to, but the reality is the agreement is what's written down. The C is clarify anything you don't understand. So whether that's with your lawyer or someone else that you trust that needs mm -hmm. to explain it to you, make sure you understand everything that's written in your contract. And the H is have everyone sign and make sure you get a signed copy for your records. Now, I'm probably speaking for maybe 90% of the people out there. A lot of times if I look at a contract though, I'm like, this has been written in lawyerese. Exactly. It's so difficult to read. Is there a way that we can go about reading it or maybe you should have someone with us to do that? Or what, you do, you, what do you suggest? I think the main thing to understand is there's absolutely no shame in not understanding that. And okay. a lot of people think they should or they don't, they're not smart enough, but sometimes lawyers aren't it's good at writing. It's intimidating. It is, absolutely. Yeah. And it's okay to ask questions and say that you don't understand. Anyone you're doing business with should be able to explain what the contract means they're asking you to sign. And I would imagine if they don't want to explain it to you? That's a problem. Yeah, it's a red flag Definitely. that automatically comes up. Definitely. And also to clarify anything that you don't understand, as we just kind of touched on, I mean, don't be afraid. Yeah, yes. right? Yes, I think, you know, there's a trend now moving towards let's make legal contracts in language that makes sense to everyone. But there are times we need legal terms and it's always fine to ask for clarification. Now you said have everybody sign as well. I mean, yes. that seems kind of obvious, but I would imagine that, uh, again, to ask questions, who should sign? Do you need to sign? I want you to sign. Everyone should yeah. sign. And remember, if you're signing on behalf of a company, you have to sign with your title or you could be personally liable for that contract. Wow, yes. learning something already. Yes. Uh, so, so certainly some things to take with us. Um, now, I guess, and again, it, it's any kind of contract, as you said earlier. It could be for a car lease. It could Any be for contract. A gym. Yes, so a lot of times, you know, people will just sign a contract because they think they're mm -hmm. gonna do the business anyway. But the fact that you didn't read a contract or you didn't understand what it said is no excuse. You will be held liable. So anything you sign, a contract is a contract is a contract. And I like to tell people, remember, that the pen is mightier than the sword. So you have to really think through what you're signing before you sign it. You know, there's a lot of websites too where they have contracts on them. Yes. Is that something that we could maybe take that contract or purchase one of those contracts and use it on our own? Or do you think that we should make one up ourselves? Or Well, I, I would say that something in writing is better than nothing in writing mm -hmm. generally. But the thing you have to know is that whatever you sign, you're liable for everything. So a lot of times if you take something off the internet, you run the risk that you're actually agreeing to something that you wouldn't have otherwise or taking on a much greater liability than you would have otherwise just because you may not really have read through what that internet contract who was drafted for someone else actually says.
All right. So if folks have questions and they want to contact you, is there a way that they can do that? Absolutely. Our website is verolawgroup.com. It's V okay. like Victor, E-R-O, lawgroup.com. All right. Yes. Excellent. Jessica, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Appreciate you very Pleasure. much. And again, it was uh, the rich formula. Read the contract. Include all the terms. Clarify everything that you don't understand. And have everybody sign it.